Welcome back. I'm not really going to be sticking to a schedule anymore since I've been able to stick with it. Also in the case this video looks and sounds different is because I'm using different equipment. This drawing is supposed to sort of be the lead up to another drawing I've been planning on making. That drawing is supposed to be these two towers with some abstract mess at the bottom. And though this is supposed to be kind of like the practice, I'm still going to try and do quite a lot because I do want to eventually hang this drawing. I start off with the pencil brush pen. I had recently gone into this, I think like the last two weeks, and I was practicing with it quite a lot, and so by the time I was going into this drawing, I felt confident about myself, but then I immediately just saw how bad I was drawing, so I went back to using my trusted multiliner. I did use the pencil brush pen a bit more, but just to fill in some large dark areas. Going into this drawing, I wanted there to be some sort of organic material clashing with some mechanical parts. And that's pretty much all I went going into this. I didn't have any more ideas. I did sort of want there to be no sense of direction in this drawing, so it could be something you could admire from any angle and would still look pretty good. But that quickly went up through the window since I was drawing very vertically, which later reminded me of the towers from the game Catherine in the Nightmare levels. It sort of looks like that. Maybe if you play the game, you'll see it. It's a game I really enjoyed playing, but I just got stuck on this one level and I haven't gone back into it for a while. I'm probably going to get back into the future because I really like the story, but I'm just not sure when. I got this mp3 player, which I've been wanting for a while, and I wanted to get the Sony ones, but the ones I wanted were out of stock, and the only ones they had in stock had Android, which for me kind of defeats the whole purpose of having an mp3 player. So I had to go with this other brand, which I kind of like their mp3 player, but it's not exactly what I was expecting. Ideally, would have liked it to have gapless audio and to be able to search individual songs on it, but I can't really do it through it. I have to like scroll down through my entire playlist just to play that one song I want to find. And since the one I bought can play FLAC files, I decided to rip some CDs. But of course, they didn't have any CDs, so I also bought some some of those. Two of the ones I bought were in French. One of them was by Edith Piaf, the one that sings La Vie en Rose. And the other was by Jack Spread, which I've liked several of his songs, so I decided to buy one of his CDs. Another CD that I think is worth of mention is Songs for the Deaf by Queens of the Stone Age. In one of the games I used to play as a child uh, was Jack X Combat Racing, and the opening for that game is the intro for Songs of the Deaf, and so I started listening to them because of that, and the introductory song is something I've enjoyed years ago, but I ended up liking now. And I'm kind of glad I did like it because this, the Doom Eternal soundtrack, and the Jack X soundtrack have actually kind of inspired the tower drawing and this drawing. Since those three albums have like this metal feeling, I wanted to draw something like that for a while now. And so, so it pushed me to finally draw something mechanical, which is great. On top of this, I've also been drawing people. It's something that I need to practice more. It's also something I think I've said several times now. And so I've been doing a bit of that. And I've gotten very mixed receptions. So this all started because someone sat in front of me. So I decided to draw them because they had an interesting head shape. And from there, I started drawing more people around me. And I think the guy with the interesting head shape and this other girl who didn't like curse because I made her nose too big were the ones that resembled them the most. I drew other people, some of them were just very simple shapes because I couldn't get a good look at them for a while, and other ones I just completely screwed up. One of the drawings was of this lady who kind of ended up looking like a man, but to be honest at first to me it looked like Shrek, so <laughs> that goes to show that I'm not really good at it yet, but that's something I'm going to keep trying. And this other lady said that if I tried drawing her she was going to punch me, so I'll eventually draw her. I'm not sure this is something you noticed by the drawing, I surely didn't, but one of the sections, it kind of resembles like Scream with a knife. And while I was editing this, the bigger image kind of looked like the head of a gargantuar from Plants vs. Zombies, so it's kind of weird what we can see in these sort of things. I didn't really try to draw anything in particular besides the whole mechanical parsing corrupted mess, so it's cool to see what other people see, and I wonder if you saw anything that I couldn't see at first. And writing about this just reminded me that some people can identify faces, but apparently abstract art could help them. I'm not sure how true that is though, I don't remember where I heard it from, but if it is true, I guess that's a cool purpose for abstract art. As I said earlier, this is something I want to frame, and also something I said in my first video, 
woodworking is something I've been wanting to get interested in, and I think any of these upcoming mods is something I will actually be able to do. I've been watching a lot of videos on how to make frames, and I feel very confident in my ability to make one, though I will be using hand tools, so maybe that confidence will go out the window just like my attempt at drawing a drawing with no sense of direction. There's a lot of work that's going to go into that. I'm not sure if it will be something to record. If I can, I will of course record it just so you can kind of get an idea of what it's like. Maybe it'll be fun to watch me struggle to make something that seems very simple, but I don't know. It's a small project that I hope will lead to bigger things. Like for example, I want to make this new bed frame for myself that would have like some space underneath it. There's a lot of things you can do and I think since I'm a creative person and woodworking might go along well together. So yeah. If you like the art piece in the video, leave a like and subscribe, let me know what you think, and hopefully I'll see you at some point this year. <laughs> Goodbye.